Exam season is finally here and biology paper one is about two weeks away. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking you through a two week final revision plan. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Estrick and welcome to Miss Estrick Biology. I've been teaching for over 14 years. So I'm gonna be sharing my tips and tricks to make sure that you are making the most of these final two weeks. And if within these final two weeks, you do feel you need more help, more teacher led guided revision, then I have really launched my pick and mix online lessons and if you don't know what these are they are group tuition sessions they're one hour long online random different topics from across the a level but i've mainly picked the hardest ones and i've timed it so it's before each exam so if you do want that extra help then check out the link below to sign up so with two weeks to go you should have a fairly good idea by this point of which topics and which skills are your strengths and which topics and skills are your weaker points and that is what you should really be focusing on. Come up with a revision timetable and it's up to you how regimented and structured that is because I know everyone has different opinions on these but you should at least have at the bare minimum a plan of the fact that the topics you find hardest for paper one you're going to make sure you dedicate most of your time to those. You still need to review the other parts of paper one but just don't spend as much time on them. It might just be for the topics you find easier which I don't know maybe that's carbohydrates or protein Scenes. You might just say you're going to do quick 20 minute flashcards going through them just to keep those key marking points in your memory. And then for the topics that you find harder, you need to dedicate much more time to those. And the sorts of things you should be doing with two weeks to go would be active recall, which could be testing yourself with flashcards still, but spending more time on those topics and making sure if you get a card wrong or you forget something on a card, you repeatedly do that card until you get it correct through throughout the week, not just once. You could also, if you need more help understanding it still, watch my YouTube videos. You could do my entire topic or my entire paper one video, which you can do at times two speed if you're short of time. But if you're going to watch the videos, make sure you're still active about it. So don't just sit and watch them. Watch them, but make sure you note down key information, key marking points, or any connections that you can see between topics or make a mind map. So you're still actively engaging while you watch those videos. And it's also, going to be key with two weeks to go that you are doing past questions. Not necessarily entire past papers at this point, but definitely doing questions either by topic or skills, in particular your weak points. And you can get those for free on my website. You just need to head to missestrick.co.uk, click the freebies tab, and then you can have the skills assessment bundle or just the assessment bundle, which is the one arranged by topic. I do also want to point out that if you are gonna do a revision schedule, or even if you're not, make sure you are being realistic with the time you have and that you do schedule in breaks. It's really important that you don't burn out and you don't overwhelm yourself. So having regular short breaks and making sure you do give yourself dedicated time each evening to completely switch off, that is gonna be key to your success and you shouldn't feel guilty for taking short, regular breaks. It will help Help your brain recharge, you'll be more focused and it will help you get a better grade overall. So now you've only got one week to go, you should still be focusing on the topics that you find harder, your weak points, but not completely ignoring the other topics. So still be doing some of the things we discussed. So flashcards, actively testing yourself maybe with friends or with packs of questions by topic. But at this point, most of your time should now shift to entire past papers. And that's what I recommend you spend a lot of the final week doing. Each past paper is two hours long. So some of them you might do in stages earlier on in the week, but you need to do at least some in full exam conditions at a minimum two but try and do as many as you can but within that final week it is going to be difficult because i know you've got other a level subjects that you need to focus on as well and each past paper is two hours long and if you're going to do the past paper you have to mark it as well so each past paper will probably take about three hours two hours completing it one hour marking it and then picking out any key marking points and refocusing on the topics that maybe you lost more marks on so that's going to take up a big chunk of your time which is why I'm saying realistically you might only have time to do two but see how much time you've got to be focusing on those past papers. Now don't forget that with paper one the key strategy is start at the back so you can try and bang 
rank those 15 marks of long answer knowledge-based questions. Then you go to the front, work your way through the rest of the questions. Now I am going to be doing a video where I give my final key essential advice for paper one the night before the exam as well. So don't miss out on that video, which is coming on the 4th of June, the day before your exam. Now I'm also running my pick and mix online lessons the final week before paper one. And as I said, I've picked out topics that students typically find harder and I'm going to be doing a one hour lesson every day. So if you do want teacher led revision to assist you before you then go and do those past papers, then make sure you click the link below to sign up. So there's only a hundred spaces for each session and this sells out every single year. So click the link below to see which lessons you would need the most help on and come along to those. Or you can come to all of them, bundle them together and you get it discounted that way. On the day before your exam, this is what I recommend. First of all, do not cram all night long. I know that some people find cramming really effective and there is evidence to show that if you do cram, it helps your short term memory of content. So therefore it could help you with the exam, but do not cram during the night is my key point I'm making because you need to try and make sure you can get as good a night's sleep as possible, which I get is difficult if you're stressed and anxious, but try and get as good a night's sleep as possible so that your brain does have the chance to rest, relax, recharge, so you can go into the exam able to focus and better able to draw on that information and remember the key facts. And the best way to try and help you to get a good night's sleep is not be working really, really late into the evening. Me, personally, I didn't work past nine o'clock any of the days I had exams. And in fact, I don't think I worked past eight o'clock any day that I had an exam. So I could then have a wind down hour and then try and get to sleep between 10 and 11. Now I know that I am personally someone that does find it easy to go to sleep early and wake up early. Not everyone is the same as me, but do something to try and relax at least an hour before you want to fall asleep so that your brain can unwind and then you're more likely to be able to fall asleep. In terms of the revisions due on the final day, focus on your weaknesses. That's the theme of this whole video. So test yourself again on the topics that you keep forgetting the key marking points on or the skills. You might have time to do an entire past paper that day, but maybe you don't. Maybe you're going to be better off doing past paper questions linked to topics, skills, so that you can really focus on your weak points to try and maximize your improvement as much as possible. So that is it. That is my final two week revision plan for your exam. And yes, I focused on paper one there, but you could apply this to paper two, paper three. And I do realize that means that you're then going to be overlapping some of these weeks. So you don't have a two week gap before each exam. So you do have to be realistic with the time you have and try and make sure that the concepts I've given you, you're applying to both paper one, paper two simultaneously. And as I said, if you do need more help and teacher led revision going through, explaining some of those hardest topics, the key marking points and doing some exam questions with me, then sign up to those pick and mix lessons. And that's what I'll be doing in the run up to paper one, in the run up to paper two, and in the run up to paper three, I'm doing topics that are specific and skill specific for each of those exams. But for now, that is it. I hope you have found it helpful. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on every video that I'm going to be uploading during exam season to help you maximize your A-level grade.